What's up, peeps? Uh, I apologize for the noise because I have a 3D printer running in the background, but um, <clears throat> I wanted to get a video of these cases because I never managed to a couple months ago when I designed them. Um, I drew using Fusion 360 some uh, 3D printed Eurorack cases. They're like a miniature studio case. Um, they have 34 HP for row, so they're 102 HP total. And I drew two different versions. You can see one is a very skinny version, and this one you create your own bus boards for it. And um, I just used some strip board and some uh, pin headers to make bus boards for this one. And on this one, I designed, you can faintly see back there, there's a bus board system that I designed. It's called Mr. Bus Board, and it has PTC fuses and LEDs and everything. So when you plug these in, and they light up, and they have power protection. And there's also um, a Meanwell RT65B on the back of these. And there is a um, IEC socket with a switch and fuse protection as well. And they wire up very neatly too, if you see that under there. Nice and clean wiring. Very small, portable 102 HP studio cases. And if you print them with a PLA Plus, they come out very strong very solid. I, I've dragged these all over the place and they don't break. So here's the larger one that comes with uh, my power system and you could download the the, um, the Gerber files and send them to uh, somewhere like uh, where, where did I get these? JLC PCB and you can send, get, send away for the PCBs. The PCBs will show up to you and you could solder them together and install them and they'll have power. Uh, the cases are made with all M3 screws. Um, you put them together with all M3 screws. Uh, the smaller case uses 2.5 knurlies and the larger case uses three M3 knurlies or M3 screws, or you could use 2.5 in a smaller one. Uh, you'll wanna look at the files and the descriptions and the links below on the video so that you can see uh, which case uses which size screws. Um, I, I put two different model files up on Thingiverse and one is for the larger powered case and one is for the smaller case where you make your own bus boards for it but i'm telling you if you follow the directions in those uh on those thingiverse files that i've put up you're gonna have a really solid small portable travel modular synthesizer case on your 3d printer um these these little case cases they do take quite a while to print because they are pretty pretty big and that it, it depends on what printer you have um, you, you'll see, I just actually behind me that noise is a Bamboo Labs printer and that will print these really fast But if you're on, using something like an Ender 3, it might take like two days per case So this whole thing could take you more than a week to print But well worth it. Very solid and great little modular Eurorack systems portable uh, studio case to take with you wherever you go. So figured I'd get those on video. It's been a while since I've made them and I've been using them a lot and I really like them. Um, I would plug them in right now, but as you can see, I don't have time or space. I'm just taking this little video on my carpet. So figured I'd just get this out there for y'all. Peace out. Enjoy another uh, 3D printed uh, file from Casey Holmes and Holmes Modular. So see y'all later. Bye.